Welcome to the Papa Do Podcast. Papa Do! How about, uh, what is going on, everybody? Wow, I just did like 17 flips right there in my Mountain Dew can. Ah, uh, Pop the Dew. I don't know if they heard it. Oh, shit, it's fizzing. Oh, shit. My bad. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Papa Do Podcast. I've lost count of what episode this is. Seven. But I know. Okay, well, Joe's right there ready for it to go. Episode number seven. And, uh... Yeah, we're still just winging this shit, just out here having fun, conversing with each other, doing uh, a non-typical podcast style, just because, fuck the system, right? Am I right, Joe? Yeah, I guess, I- I'm starting to realize why you call this a sit-down more than a podcast. Yeah, that was uh, my initial view in the beginning, like, I never wanted to do a podcast per se, I just wanted to get on here and talk shit with one of my closest friends. Yeah. Uh, but you answered instead. My other closest friend didn't answer. So. <laughs> that was good. That's good. That, that's good. Yeah. I feel like you've been going too easy on me these past yeah, few cause... episodes. So <laughs> people have make been me like, feel horrible. <laughs> okay, I will. I'm gonna ease up on the eyebrow jokes though, because I feel like it's getting a little redundant, and I'm starting to see a lot of comments now, and it's it's getting a little overbearing for me. So I can only assume you are boiling on the inside, ready to fucking murder someone at the next nah. eyebrow comment. Really? Again, if it gif- again, if I didn't have eyebrows, maybe it'd be offensive, but I have them, so it's like Oh, I don't where know. are they? It doesn't they're they're around. Oh, okay. They're, yeah. <laughs> I, I think you should put them on before the video starts though. Maybe that yeah. would convince people that you have them. Yeah, I guess I could do that. That's a strategy. <laughs> I literally um, saw that in uh your genie video which dropped today. Congratulations with Moxis. Uh um, Yeah. Thanks. Like one of the comments Pretty sure it was the desert scorched Joey's eyebrows off, and it was like the most liked comment in the comment section of that video. It's usually something revolved around eyebrows that's the highest rated comment. Has and it always all... been like that, or has it only been like that since we started to do the podcast? No, it's always been like that. Oh, really? Ever since like YouTube like has been picking up for me. like mm-hmm. No one ever mentioned it to me outside of YouTube. That's but... usually how it goes. Yeah, but I that's... guess these people just... They ain't afraid to say nothing. Yeah, man. No repercussions <laughs> so. when there's like a, a screen and 3,000 miles of distance. You don't have to worry about anything. But, uh, I mean, I, I never even realized your eyebrow, you know, they're thin and their coat, they're blonde or like a light red. And, uh, yeah, I've never really noticed it until you told me about it one day and, like, made fun of yourself for it. And then I was like, holy shit, I never really noticed his eyebrows. And then uh, now it's just a running joke with me. Yeah, I made a video and I put it on my channel of uh, like a story, a six minute story about how I lost my eyebrows and I like led people on for six <laughs> minutes long just to tell them, just kidding, I have eyebrows at the end. So, uh, and then some people were like, well, I didn't even notice, but now I notice. So it's like, yeah, I tried to uh, bury the hatchet, I guess is the right term. Uh, Nip it in the bud. There you go. That's probably, that's the better term. Yeah. What does bury the hatchet mean? That means, like, if you're enemies with someone, you decide not to be any enemies anymore. <laughs> oh, so that... <laughs> yeah. That's, uh... Wow, that was almost as bad as we, the George Bush and Mr. T <laughs> thing that I said last episode or whenever We that always have terms that we, both of us say, and apparently neither one of us know what they mean. Because I know one stream, or one podcast, we talked about the word omnipotent, and I thought it meant everywhere, yeah. but that's omnipresent. Omnipotent means all powerful, but omni is like the the pronoun, not the pronoun, the fucking the suffix, the prefix. Jesus yeah. Christ, the prefix of that word. So I, I basically had it right. And then I think the last podcast we talked about about the word digress, and apparently you and I don't know what that means either. So I I always thought it meant like getting off topic from your. That's point. what somebody said in the comments. And I've then, always uh, thought. Like I've I've always said I digress whenever I'm done speaking about something. So I guess in turn that does mean getting off topic. It makes sense cuz the only place I've heard it is from Chappelle's show <laughs> and I can't quite re- Yeah, I remember. He was this was the Chappelle show episode where he was on stage. So it wasn't a skit. He was on stage talking to the audience and he had a quote unquote pretty white girl singing all of his thoughts that he was writing down. <laughs> and then he said, I digress from my point. And I was like, oh, that sounds cool when he says that. I want wow. to say that. And maybe if I say that, I'll be as cool as Dave Chappelle. And uh, 
It didn't work out. I mean, I would say yeah. you're cool, but if anybody tries to be as cool as Dave Chappelle, they're going to fail immediately because that is the funniest man alive. Yeah. Wow, yeah. we agreed on something. Holy shit, mark it down. Dave well, Chappelle okay. is a funny fucking man. I mean, are, are you going to be devil, devil's advocate now and just say, like, <laughs> no, nah, it's Kevin Hart. You're just going to say no. someone else. No, nah, I wouldn't say Kevin Hart is funnier. Who would you say is funnier nah. than Dave Chappelle? Uh, see, I don't know. Oh, see, we're going to put you on spot. See, you don't even know. You just like to disagree with me because you're you. Yeah. Man. I like to, yeah. <laughs> as soon as you agree, I'm like, well, wait a minute. Let's <laughs> let's, let's let's back up a little bit here. Let's, <laughs> Maybe, you yeah. know, he's not the funniest guy. Well, who is? Well, I don't, they don't exist yet. Or Jesus, <laughs> Jesus isn't around anymore. But it's I am pretty argument. sure he was definitely funnier. So, okay, whatever. Bill Burr is up there. I like Bill Burr. Do you know who that is? I don't. I don't know who Bill Burr is. Man. Okay, we're not going to talk about comedians because I'm probably going to get upset. Uh, so, yeah, KSI and Rice Gum, that is going to be the main topic of this podcast. I I want it to be anyway. You could probably divulge okay. into something else. No. I mean, we could talk about KSI and Rice Gum. I think it's pretty damn interesting. And uh, I think above all, it's going to be a really good look for Rice Gum in terms mm-hmm. of getting his ball rolling again. I'm glad he's making content again, whether it's music videos or whatever, but uh, I feel like he's he's probably the most inconsistent YouTuber, one of the most inconsistent YouTubers when it comes to uploading, mm-hmm. and uh, KSI recently has been on a, just a tear, um, yeah. so it's, uh, I don't know, part of me is wondering how much of it is legitimate, but I think... KSI deleting the earthquake video makes me believe that this is pretty legitimate because, you know, uh, I that's think a lot it's, of hard work down the drain. It is, but I feel like it's a lot of pettiness on both sides. I mean, both of them have a huge pride and a huge ego. They're both going to think their music's better than the other, which I think is a good mindset to have, honestly. If you want to have, like, to be dominant in the platform, you have yeah. to pretty much think your music is the best and better than everyone else's. Uh, what the hell? I said that to you, and you screamed at me and said, I don't agree with that at all. Okay. You literally just stopped me from transitioning into a very funny thing that I was about to do, where it was like a complete psych 180, and I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I'm just so making thanks sure. for ruining the punchline. Like, I was literally about to take a deep breath, and this was like, psych, that's fucking stupid, but you ruined it for me. Uh, I don't agree with that situation. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, I, I do think you have to know that your music's good, and, and there's points to that that I can agree with that you have to think your music is better than everyone else's. But there's to a point where you become an asshole over it, and like you you need to know that you can get better, and that there's other people that are better than you, and that needs to be used for motivation to get better. You, you know what I'm saying? Because like I know that I, I'm good, but I know there's people on the platform better than I am. I'm not gonna be naive and just gullible. Or is that the word? See, we're going to stop using adjectives. I'm just I'm not going to be stupid about it, okay? I know there's people that are more talented than I am. Yeah, uh I think when and with like those two like having like big egos and stuff like that, it's uh they kind of need to realize that they their channel wasn't predicated on music. Like their mm-hmm. channels and presence online wasn't predicated on music to begin with. Was Rice Gums like, not based around music? No. Uh, see, I'm no, not he... a huge Rice Gum fan. Like, I don't know a lot about his discography. I mean, I was around whenever he was, like, the guy doing diss tracks and stuff on YouTube, but I wasn't, like, super involved into anything. Yeah, no, he, uh, I mean, I wasn't either, but what, I, I actually found out about Rice Gum when he started doing diss tracks. I think the Gabby Hanna diss track is when I found out about him. And I was oh, like, see, okay. I knew he's... about him before then. Okay. And I was like, you know, he's, I could tell he's not a rapper, but, you know, there's something unique and cool about what he's doing. Like, it's very flashy and very, oh, look at my Gucci shirt and being very obvious about stuff like that. So I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, But at the same time, it like, I don't know, it was entertaining. That's the way I could put it. Like, Rice Gum was really good at being entertaining. Yeah. And um, I never, like, never, ever liked any of his music at all. I always thought it was like a gimmick thing. I always thought it was like a joke that he wasn't like doing music seriously. <laughs> yeah, that's but, how I, I interpret it too. I think it should be interpreted that okay. way. Well, that's the thing though. Is like he's portraying 
I don't know if he's just like being a mega troll right now with this whole situation, but he's like portraying and has portrayed for a little bit that it's all serious music. And then he thinks he's one of the best musicians on the platform. And like, I just, I don't see it. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's how I, I don't know, man. I, I'm pretty sure he's this pretty smart dude. And mm-hmm. I think he knows what he's doing. I'm pretty sure he knows he's not the, the greatest rapper in the world. Yeah. I mean, but, I want to um, preface that by saying, like, I like Rice Gum's personality to a certain yeah. extent. Like, there's a lot of videos I've watched of his where I've laughed and, like, had a good time watching the videos. I just don't yeah, like his music, like, at all. Like, not even close to, like, his music. Well, all right. Well, like, so you like KSI's music more is what you're saying off the rip, right? Yeah, off the rip, yeah. I like KSI's okay. music more. And I wouldn't even say, like, I'm a huge KSI music fan. Um, but I, I definitely like his music way more than Rice Gums. And always well, then let's... Like, that's not just, like, that's not a recent thing because I'm on his album and shit <laughs> like that. It's, it's, always, <laughs> it's, it's always been like that. Quick flex! All right. Uh, <laughs> all right, yeah. Uh, I don't know why I just flexed in the camera. There's literally <laughs> spaghetti. Oodles and noodles. Um, but, yeah. Uh, well, in that case, then let's uh, let's do what KSI did and compare. Okay, so I some wrote down songs uh, KSI songs. Yeah, I wrote down the ten songs that they compared in the videos. But if you have other songs that like Rice Gum has released that KSI didn't go over, feel free to mention them. I don't um, think he has that many, but he really doesn't. Right. And that's the thing is like I don't know I don't know when he blew up or how it happened. Like, do you? Yeah, it happened because he uh, started doing these kids must be stopped videos because people started doing diss tracks on rice gum. Like little kids started doing diss, tra- diss tracks on rice mm. gum. Gotcha. And then he would uh make diss songs or videos. I don't even think they were – I don't know if he made diss tracks back. I think he did make diss tracks back for a while. Mm. And, uh, yeah, and me and uh, Dame Drops – or, or okay, this was mainly Dame Drop's idea, but he he tried to jump on that train too, and uh, I produced a diss track against Rice Gum that Dame Drops did back in 2017, <laughs> I think wow. it was. So before anybody knew who I was on YouTube or anything like that. So yeah. um, yeah, just to try to get him to respond. <laughs> just <laughs> complete clap like, chasing. Like, but. Yeah, the very first thing I ever heard about Rice Gum. Was his Jacob Sartorius diss track, and like I heard it, and I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, like this is unbelievably, this is a joke. <laughs> and, like, have you heard it? No. Which one is that? Oh man, it's uh, it's over the, like the mmm, like the freestyle beat that the I can't remember who originally does that, but the mmm, mmm, like that beat. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know it. Nah. It's it's got like a, a chant. Of people going, mmm. You, okay. you never heard it? Okay. You I probably never heard, heard it. it. I feel like you would have heard it. Like if a, I, I'm doing a very shitty job of portraying the beat. <laughs> but, I mean, you could okay. look it up in your own time if you want to. Just the flow is very horrible. Like, it's a slow flow to begin with, which is, you know, that doesn't even mean anything. But, like, he's off beat completely. And, like, he, you can, it's very clear he doesn't know how to make music or rap or anything yeah. in this diss track. And, like I said, that was the first thing I ever heard about him. And, like... I mean, obviously he got better over time, but he never got good to me. He always had really dope punchlines, I thought, but then I found, like, this God made all of his punchlines for a long time. I don't even know what songs this God made for him, but I know it was a lot of them. And so, like, that completely yeah. threw me off. It's like, okay, I can never trust anything that Rice Gun puts out again because the only thing that I found appealing about it were the punchlines and somebody else was writing them for him. Yeah, and the videos. The videos were dope. That's the first thing I think about, yeah. I think, when I think of, like, Rice Gum songs that I like. Yeah, his newer music videos are really, really good. Um, I mean, his Jacob Sartorius one, it's a it's a mic shot on, on, like, a 480p camera. Like, it is not... Wow. Yeah, I don't okay. know how the... Fuck... Yeah, that's how he started, for sure. That's how he started, yeah, I, I, with the little Afro remember, guy. Yeah, Afro Gum. Oh, that was his name. Okay, Afro yeah. Gum. And I still think he, like, fucks around on that Twitter every now and again. Yeah. But, uh... uh yeah, I never um, never thought he was that good, and I, I mean, I still don't. I, I think some music structure is good on some of his songs, and like I said, the punchlines, but then I found out, you know, he's not writing his stuff. I'm sure he writes his own stuff now after the whole exposing. I don't even know if you would call it exposing because he pretty much owned up to it. So I don't even know. The whole situation's weird to me. Yeah, I mean, this is a... 
This is YouTube rap in a nutshell. This is like the stereotype of YouTube rap kicking in kind of outside of our community, but more of like the big, like mm -hmm. the big YouTubers because um, they, these guys are like looking at the numbers mm -hmm. and are thinking that just because you got clicks on a video means that it's really good, right. but that's not the case. I mean, it could be entertaining, but it's not something you're ever going to hear on the radio or something that can measure up with like a Drake song mm -hmm. or something like that. And yeah. that's kind of the delusion that some of these YouTubers have, bigger YouTubers have. But uh, I will hand it to KSI. Like when I heard his verse on Poppin', actually, that's when I was really like, wow. Like his flow is like really improving. And I, yeah. man, I like his work ethic. Like he puts his, when he wants to do something, he puts his head down and works on it and gets good at it from the ground up. And that's, yeah, that's uh, definitely true. He's, um, and I've talked about that in reactions too, how much he has improved just for me personally. At least like I used to not ever be able to listen to him because I couldn't understand him. Um, mm -hmm. but here lately, you know, he's really worked on his enunciation and stuff. So it makes it a lot easier to understand what he's saying in his flows. Like he's never yeah, been off. Switching beat. up his flows too. Yeah. Yep. I mean, he's, he's done. Yep. And I mean, I think you're very ignorant or blindsided or just, that's another adjective. We're not, doesn't even make fucking sense. I think you're very ignorant <laughs> if you say that he has not gotten better compared to what he used to be. Yeah, absolutely. So, and same for Rice Cup. Um, like, if you got dude, if you ever just go back and listen to that Jacob Sartorius diss <laughs> and then <laughs> move forward and go, uh, I did not like the, the, the adult at all. I didn't like my ex. But, I mean, those aren't really, I don't. I didn't like them. Uh, but, like, Every Night Sis, God Church, that era right there, he was getting a lot clearer with his flows and enunciations, and he was starting to get, you know, respectable to a certain degree. Yeah, I would say Rice Gum had his own style going for him yeah, at that agreed. time. Yeah, and that was like the, was the small style. window that I really, you know, I was fucking with Rice Gum and his music. That that one <laughs> really small window. Like, he did a Gabby Hanna diss track that I fucking hated, and then I think he did God Church was either right after that, maybe. Yeah. And then uh, Every Night Sis was during that, that whole thing, and I just thought his flows and his enunciation were really cool. And the punchlines were really, really good in those, but again, didn't fucking write them. <clears throat> Isn't it funny how these songs all stemmed off of the legendary YouTube smash record of all time? What's that? It's every day, bro. Ah, uh, dude, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though. All a lot of this stemmed off from that. Like, yeah. Isn't Earthquake the KSI Rice Gum song? Wasn't that a response? I don't know that I, or something or I don't remember someone in, where in the 10, timeline. Right? I don't remember where in the timeline that came out. I don't think it was a diss track at anybody. I think it was just a song they did together. Gotcha. But I do know. It was uh, like, no, it was definitely a diss track. It was definitely a diss track. Was it? It's called Earthquake. It was about like somebody that was. Was it about fat. the big the big dude in Team Ten? That's what I think. But I don't think you're right. I I I, I, I could be wrong. I feel like it was just a song, though. I don't remember ever seeing diss track in the title of that video. I don't think they put diss track, but I think it was a diss track on somebody. You think? I don't, yeah. I can't remember the song off the top of my head. Song wasn't good. You, you don't think good it was? Anyway. And that's pro that might be a reason why KSI had no reason getting rid of it. <laughs> I, I should actually go back and look at what when he rated his own songs, mm -hmm. what he put that song as. Yeah, I don't remember. I did watch that, that video, recent. but I don't remember what he what he rated that song as. Yeah. All right, let's compare some KSI songs and Rice Gum songs. This podcast yeah. all about KSI and Rice Gum. Yeah, this man. I'm going to milk the shit out of this. Fun fact, I did <laughs> uh, enter a contest one time that Rice Gum was hosting. I had like 4,000 subs or some shit. He wanted people to move into the cloud house, him and FaZe Banks. And it's like, oh, shit, I want to move in there. That could change my life. And I like made a rap while I was cooking a steak. And try to get the try to get them to let me move in. It's horrible. Did but, uh, somebody really win? Win? <laughs> I wow! Just, my wow. voice just cracked. <laughs> did somebody really just win that contest? Or did somebody uh, no, win I, that I'm contest? pretty sure they just like held the contest and then just said, "Fuck it, we're not going to do anything about this," and then moved on. Yeah, I would. That's a weird contest. Like, yeah, win this contest and move in with us. Like, yeah. All right, psychos. You, think about that though, dude. That would completely change somebody's life. Yeah, but you don't know who's coming in the 
the damn house. <laughs> yeah. Looking back on it, like, I would have fucking hated that. As much as I love watching FaZe Banks and his personality, like, living with him and their party lifestyle and the drugs and everything, no fucking way, man. Yeah, no oh, yeah, nah. That. that ain't for me. I've been around that a lot when I was in L.A. working at high-end hotels, seeing a lot of people indulge in those things, and it's an exhaust. It's exhausting just to be around it. Like, yeah. it's, it ain't for me. Yeah, but. my roommates in college were complete and total potheads. Like, uh, the first day we moved in, we'll get to the KSI shit here in a minute. I want to tell the story. <laughs> but the first day we moved in, I ordered pizza for us as, to celebrate, and got a two-liter of Mountain Dew, and we finished the Mountain Dew. And then after we got done, my roommate literally turned the Mountain Dew, or the Mountain Dew two-liter bottle into a bong, and he and my roommate just smoked a bong immediately after we got done eating pizza. Like, no furniture or anything in the house. And uh, So was it, like... Mountain Dew flavored weed? I don't know. I've never smoked weed. How before. does that work? I no idea, man. No idea behind the mechanics <laughs> of it. I don't fuck around with <laughs> any either. of that shit. Yeah. So, but they did it, Same. and it, they got high. So, all right. There's that Dew. story. Uh, so yeah, Mountain Dew's always been a central figure to my entire life. So, <laughs> but uh, right. so KSI made this video where he compared 10 of his songs to 10 of Rice Gum's songs. And they're supposed to be like their biggest hits uh, because Rice Gum said that he made better music than KSI. So uh, mm-hmm. I, I went through the video, got all the songs, and then Joey and I, we're pretty much going to do the same thing and see if we agree with KSI's ratings, if we disagree, and just pretty much write our own things. So, Should are you I grab ready, some headphones to like just get like a quick reference of a song? I mean, you can. It's gonna be. Play it on su- my phone. It's gonna suck in the editing, but. Well, well no, I will just. No, nah, it'll, it'll. Okay. Well, if someone else is editing this video, then this will be a good test. Gotcha. Okay, so KSI's first song was Houdini. How are you feeling about Houdini? All right, let me uh, put in my headphones really quick to remember how that sounds. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's like you literally just did a reaction to it like three days ago, <laughs> whatever it was. Um, Houdini is dope. Um, but. But, now this is important. All right, mm-hmm. so the song is good, right? Right. And a lot of KSI's recent songs have been good. Right. But all that KSI has done on all these songs is just drop one verse. Right. I wonder that if was kind of like a hand. lingering thought in my in my mind here. Yeah, me. I mean, absolutely for me, too. I, I wonder if he had any kind of hand in writing the hooks or writing the song structures, though. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Because if he did, guess, then I'm, no. I'm willing to give him props for that. But if he didn't, if all he did was, you know, lay down a verse over somebody else's hook and somebody else's beat, that's when things really start to change. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what it sounds like to yeah. me. Like, do you think, like, like a, a, like SX is, like, a dope songwriter? Like, you just know. Mm-hmm. Like, you could tell yeah. he's just good at writing songs. Do you think he really, like, was tweaking SX's... That one I know <laughs> Melodies didn't. or something. Uh, I saw a video that KSI's had that song for like a year or some shit. SX sent him that song a long time ago, and it was just a hook. It was actually in the video that SX made um, pretty much what you do, where he made the beat and how he made the song. And, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's when he said that. So, and I think I mean, we're that getting is, ahead of ourselves with that, but that's just an example. Yeah, that, yeah. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, Houdini. But Houdini's a dope song. Like, it's undeniable that it's a good song. It's a good pop record. Like It is a dope song, but I think he has a really good verse on that, too. Like for the type of song that it is, I mean, obviously it's you know it's a woman appreciation song to be PC about it, um, <laughs> but I like some of the schemes that he had, you know, like the you know money check, da check, da 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 check. Like I like the the pauses and like the uh, transitions through that. I thought it was an interesting verse from him. It wasn't stale for me anyway. Nah, and he uh, mixed some humor into his verse too. Yeah, and um, and his, his accent uh, to start off was really cool. Yeah, yeah, it all like he sounded really comfortable. That's the yeah. way I could put it. Or That's... as people in the industry would say, he sounded in pocket. So <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, I agree. I one hundred percent agree. Uh, and then so, he compared that to Rice Gum's most recent song, "My Ex." All right, see, I haven't heard that yet because I was going to react to it, but I don't think I'm going to now because. Rice comes a jerk and uh, doesn't let us have the ad revenue for those videos. So I don't know anybody that does anymore, man. Do you? Besides, shout out to Quadeca. 
Quadeca is a real Quideca one. Quadeca does. Yeah, I think he. My video got claimed from his the other day, but he released the claim, and I think he has yeah. claims on all of them right now to protect from leaks. But then he releases the claims once the videos are out. Yeah, it was through Cobalt, and Cobalt is a uh, publishing Sh- fucking company. shitty ass Cobalt. I hate those motherfuckers. Or distribution company, but yeah. Cobalt's but. the company that messaged me and said they own the rights to lyrics for a video that I did. Wow. But, uh, yeah, those guys can suck a fucking dick. Fuck you, Cobalt. Not the well, car so or the, the tool company, the publishing company. You guys fucking suck. But if you want to sponsor us, all right, this my ex joint. I'm listening to it right now. Mm-hmm. It uh, it ain't that bad. The beat is is dope. Um, yeah, it's wavy. The uh, rice gums melodies are good, but he just sounds kind of awkward singing like that <laughs> on my ex. Yeah. Uh. So it's very heavily reliant on, uh, uh, I guess, auto tune, but not to say that's a bad thing. But but Rice's gum just doesn't sound good. Rice gum doesn't sound good with the auto tune on his voice, is what I'm saying. Mm. Uh, so I'm gonna have to give uh that one to Houdini. Yeah, I mean there are difficult songs to compare because they're a little different, uh, and like their their mood is different. But I mean. I don't think there's any kind of question about the songs being better, and obviously the verse and stuff. I think it's just there's no really not a question with that one. So, all yeah. right, mm, excuse me. Okay, round two uh, was Rice Gum the Adult with the uh, clever the baby flip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rice Gum's big comeback song. Beat was super fucking hard on that. I don't know how you feel about it. I love that beat more than anything. But wow! I, I mean, it oh well, that, it does have the low piano sound. Yeah, I mean, you know, I pretty much nut when I hear low pianos. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was a YouTube beat. Like it was a the baby type beat on YouTube. So shout out to whoever he bought that lease from. At least I hope he bought the lease for it. <laughs> what was uh? Who's it compared to? Uh, that was compared to Poppin. Yeah, I mean, I gotta give that one to Poppin. Okay. Uh, but yeah, the yeah. adult. That's where I was talking about where Rice Gum's pronunciation or enunciation it fell back a lot. Like I, I could, I was having a hard time hearing him, and it sounded really stuffy and just like classic Rice Gum. I feel like he's, you know, he's uh, busting off the iron, whatever it's called. I don't know what is the euphemism I'm trying to say. Are you saying like he's rusty? Yeah. I'm trying to <laughs> <laughs> knock it off the yeah. list. <laughs> I don't mind the stuffy nose voice or whatever, because that's rice gum to me. Like, that's his voice. Like, oh, man. That's what makes him sound like rice gum. But uh, most of the time I can understand what he's saying. But I guess in the adult, or maybe because you haven't heard him in a while, yeah, you uh, weren't used to listening to that, but. I don't know. I didn't think it was that great of a song. I didn't even know if there was a hook in that song. People told me there was a hook, and I didn't even notice it. It didn't stand yeah. out. Yeah. Um, but Poppin', the, I had the same vibe about Poppin' at first. Poppin', the hook didn't stand out to me that much at first either. And uh, But after uh, the song, after the hook came in once or twice, or a couple more times, like I was like, oh, okay, this is the hook. Yeah. So, do you think, because Rice Comes is only one verse, do you think the hook would have stood out more if there was another verse? Uh, yeah, was it only one, probably. One verse? I can't exactly remember if it was one verse, like one long verse. I'm pretty sure it was, because it's only like a two-minute song. Yeah, I've, right? I'm pretty sure somebody told me that, they, that there was a, a hook in the song, but I don't remember it, and Poppin' I remember, but then again... Poppin had a, a crazy promotional campaign with the challenge attached to it, yeah. a music video. Ha, and... ha, ha! Mm, mm. Yeah. You know, I'm on that remix. Yeah. You Sorry. won. You did it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so I guess I got to give it to Poppin. But again, KSI uh, was relying on a lot of other people to make that song happen mm-hmm. and come all together with his features and – all that stuff. So I just want to keep that into account there. Yeah. 
Yeah, like, it's hard to compare when you do that stuff. But uh, that's why I think it was a times. very unfair judgment system that he had. Plus, he was the judge. Like, yeah, what yeah. is this? <laughs> I mean, you're you're gonna big yourself up. Like, if I judge myself against somebody else, especially if I don't like him, I mean, I'm 100 percent gonna big myself up and find every little thing wrong. With oh yeah, you're petty like that and for com- sure. Like, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. man. And I'm going to find some of their shitty songs and compare it to some of my best songs to make it look even worse. Yeah. <laughs> like there's, there's definitely a game <laughs> to do right there. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I'm inclined to agree as well. I do think KSI's pop and verse was better in a sense to rice comes the adult, but again, they're really hard to compare. Yeah. All right. What do you compare next? But we're, we're getting into some stuff. Yeah. We're getting into some stuff where it's only KSI. So it will be a lot easier to do. Uh, but the third one, uh, this was the first song that KSI liked from Rice Gum is Fortnite and Chill, and I, I don't like the song at all because it's a, I mean it's a halfway gimmicky song. Yeah. Um, but it's, I mean it's just not my style in general. But he does sound good though. I think he does sound good. Yeah, I think that's that song was, uh, and that was the first time I heard it was when I watched KSI's video. Oh, was it? playing it? And uh, from what I remember, I remember like the flow, like or the melody, just it had the bounce, like the song had the bounce. Yeah. And it was uh Yeah, it was super yeah. smooth. Uh but like I said, it's just not my style. But then he compared it with Down Like That and Down Like That is like one of my favorite <laughs> songs anybody on the platform has ever made. So it's like that's like a trump card but, to me. Like you're automatically gonna win whatever you put that up against. But Rice Gum's performance on Fortnite and Chill was better than KSI's performance on Down Like That. Hmm. Yeah, SX that fucking killed that song, dude. That is his song. Yeah. So that's like, I don't know. It's, see, it's so weird because it's like one of the best songs on the platform, but performance-wise, I don't know. You're, you're going to give that one to Rice Gum? If we're talking about like in terms of who performed the best on the, their songs, then yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would definitely give that one to Rice Gum. Yeah. Yeah. Again, another hard comparison because it's just one verse from KSI 2, and then you're comparing it to a whole Rice that's Gum true. song. That's so true. There's, there's more to. I don't know. That's fair. It'd be better if Ricegum had features that we could fuck with, <laughs> but he doesn't. Yeah, I know. The only feature he has that I've noticed is with KSI. Well, uh, when we get to one of these songs, these Ricegum songs, he uh, has a feature, but. Every night, sis? Yeah. That, is, that doesn't count. But I mean, <laughs> Oh, you okay. mean like somebody that could like really boost you? Yeah, like, like somebody that, that's like, like actually add value to the known song. For, known for rap. I mean, Alyssa definitely added value to the song. It was a shock factor, and it was dope. Yeah, but like somebody that's already established as a musician on the platform. Yeah, that's you know kind of like the Rice Gum case. I think like they both were making music at the time. Yeah, but, I didn't mean to abash okay. Alyssa Violet there, but I was just <laughs> saying like somebody who has no, musical th- expertise to make the song yeah. even better. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I got you. So Joey is giving Fortnite and Chill over down like that, which sounds blasphemous to say. <laughs> but like but I, there's a reason for it. Like, I yeah. feel like I have good <laughs> yeah, reason. No, I understand. I understand. I mean, I guess I, I can agree with you in a certain sense, but again, it's hard for me to do it because it's a verse compared to a full song. Down Like That is the better song. Like, 100%. For sure. It's the best song any of them have ever made. <laughs> Devil's Advocate, go fuck yourself. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that about that. That's such a crazy dude. When I watched him walk out to that, to, at the Logan Paul fight, like, I got fucking goosebumps. Mm. And, like, I wasn't even a huge fan of him at the time. Hmm. That's the thing. I mean, I was a fan of him, but I wasn't, like, you know, I don't know. People are going to say I'm fucking dick riding in this and it's going to piss me off. Fuck you. Okay, in case I have shitty songs. <laughs> but we just haven't gotten to one yet. There you go. We'll just put out that clip and I'll just upload that clip. <laughs> yeah, in a few days. just do it. It's going to get clipped. I'm going to be off the album. He's going to fucking block me on everything. He's going to unsend all the nice messages he sent me on Instagram. I knew I was right about you, Crip. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to go full petty mode and just completely shit on my life. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, moving on then. Uh, next one is the Gabby Hanna diss from Rice Gum. Yeah. And that's you said that was the first song you heard by him, right? Yeah. Yep. And uh, I liked it. You did? Yeah. There was uh, a... <laughs> 
I liked it because of of the relevancy of the situation, like just the caught up in the hype of what was going on with the drama and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, this See, was, I was in yeah. full rice gun mode back then too, so I was aware of everything. Yeah, that's when I that's when we that's when I produced the song for Dame Drops against Rice Gun. So. Oh really? Yeah, that was right at that time. Exactly at that time. I remember Dame Drops texting uh. me saying, "Yo, we should get into diss tracks." I was like, "Huh? Eh? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Who are we dissing? <laughs> Who do we hate? Like, what is? <laughs> I didn't know I hate anybody, but." Them. I, I'm coming for the head. What's going on? I have no idea why we're doing this, but fuck you, dog. Yeah, they crossed the line. Who are they? I don't know, but they crossed the line. Not too many times. But, uh, yeah, he was like, yo, uh, the Gabby show got dissed by, or the Gabby show uh, got hit by rice gum, and but Man. everybody thinks she's lying. And I was like, first of all, what? It, why is he talking about some weird food being attacked or attacking a program or something like that like <laughs> i rice <gum>? completely oblivious <laughs> who's the gabby show uh, who's rice gum that's what great. are you talking about and then i finally had to look it up and then i understood pretty quickly after i looked it up and then he came out with the diss yeah. track like the next day and i was like oh this is like relevant to the situation i could tell he doesn't rap i always respect when people don't rap but give it a good shot and sound decent on a song like I respect yeah. that because I know how hard it is. So, I'm, wasn't every night sis before that? No, I'm almost certain it was. I'm gonna say no. Here, you look it up on your computer. I I could look it up on. My I will. Phone. I'm almost certain it was every night sis. Then it went to Gabby Hanna, and then it went to like frick the police about iDubs. So June 10th, 2017 was it's every night sis, and then. So it's June tenth. Uh, this is the most boring part of the podcast right here. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it was April fourth was the Gabby Hanna one, then June tenth. See, so it was right after. So it's I mean it's still it's like right there, and like Rice Gum's flow on this song is, I don't like it. Uh, I remember not liking it at the time, and I was like starting to, you know, come on, to like yo who's this Rice Gum guy, listening to some of his stuff. Yeah, but I was like super involved in that drama. I was like glued to my phone, like the rice gonna fucking hit Gabby Hanna or Hanna, whatever, however you say her last name, <laughs> because like they were at a party and Gabby was trying to videotape him. He didn't want to be videotaped, and she like put her her phone in his face, and he like he pulled a da baby before the da baby pulled a da baby. <laughs> Pull a da baby, wow. Yeah, yeah, man, it's I- all full circle. That's why he made the adult that adult. What if that's a subliminal da baby diss? Because the baby got famous. Or got a little shine for doing what Rice Gum did. Uh, Is that a reach? Yeah. That's, that's, a uh, that's, a, okay. that's a space jam. <laughs> Michael Listen, Jordan man, at the end so... of the game dunking the ball reach right there. <laughs> that's that's a reach. I'll put it in terms you understand. You Thank go. you. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. It's it's definitely a reach. But, uh, yeah, I remember not liking it at the time. And I was like, again, somebody who was starting to come on to Rice Gum's music. Yeah, well, Rice Gum's music isn't something that you ride around listening to. It's something yeah. that feeds into a story or a narrative going on at, at a current time on YouTube. And it's something I'd that... I'd be lying if I said I didn't roll around and listen to Every Night Sis a handful of times. Really? Yeah. I like legitimately bumped that song for a little bit. I just liked it. It's probably because of Alyssa Violet moans on that, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm just fucking with you guys. Fair I just enough. remember that being like a, a topic of conversation when people listen to it. But uh, yeah, I thought it was dope, dude. I really did think it was dope. But we'll get on into that in a minute. All right. Um, but, uh, so That was compared to Little Boy by uh, KSI. Have you ever heard that one? Yeah, Little Boy is like... That one seems to be like KSI's like baby. <laughs> like that yeah. like he loves that song dearly so much but to yeah. me it's kind of like it's just a bunch of yelling like it's hyped <laughs> see <laughs> but it's, this is why we are who we are because i love the energy of that song the beat is fucking insane and like that's the st- i guess i'm like to listen to stuff that i know that i would sound good with so you think you'd sound good on a beat like that absolutely good god absolutely really it's a grime beat right not really 
I mean, I, sort of. I don't know. I think it's Grime that beat, if I'm not mistaken. Well, if it is, then I, I would sound dope on a Grime beat. That would be interesting. That, that beat is gnarly, dude. Yeah, I don't know. To me, it's a uh, da 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 little boy. Da, 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 little boy. Isn't that pretty much how it goes? Something like that? No, that's fucking Tokens. What? No. That is Tokens' song, little boy. What? There's no way I'm getting this confused right now. You are. Little boy want to get involved. Like, that. that's how the song starts. Oh. Okay, he says little boy in the beginning of each phrase. Yeah. Okay. The uh, way you said that made it sound like you were talking about Tokens' song, little boy. Like, da, 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 little boy. No, like, have you heard no, that song? no, I've never heard that song. So I know I haven't. Okay. I know I wasn't getting it confused, but I just okay. was mistaken. But, uh, right. yeah, I don't know. To me, uh, <laughs> all right, yeah, I guess the better song is Little Boy. Okay. So we give that. But I guess just the nostalgic factor of, you know, right when I was finding out about the YouTube scene and stuff, like the Rice Gum Joint was one of the first ones I heard, the Gabby Hanna disc, mm-hmm. so... That one was gotcha. kind of cool to me, but I guess if I'm driving to the store and I'm like, all right, I have a choice. I can only listen to one song between these two. Which one is it going to be? Then a oh, little boy, hands be down. A little boy. Yeah. Hands fucking down. Get me hyped up while I'm on my way to get a Baconator. Dude. Yeah. I just want to fucking fight someone when I hear the instrumental of that. Come on. Just and he's got a lot of songs like that too. That's the thing. Yeah. He has a lot of high energy stuff, but oh. all right. So little boy wins that. So what? What is this? Who's winning? Um. So right now you've got it. You've got uh, KSI winning three to one, and I've okay. got it three zero. I didn't rate. I didn't give an uh an answer between down like that and Fortnite and chill because I feel like my brain would collapse if I gave an answer to that. <laughs> okay. I mean, feel, I know you want to say right. down like, like I, that, but I can't can't get it off my tongue because like I know I just can't do it. So. That should answer your question. But you, we're just gonna go with your ratings. That way, if people don't like this, uh, they can just blame you. All right. So, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm with it. I'm ready to defend my All points. Right. Cool. All right, three <laughs> one. Uh, so the next one is, uh, it's Beerus by KSI against God Church by Rice Gum. Yeah, uh, I gotta give that one because God Church is my favorite. Yeah, I definitely give that to God Church too. Beerus is one of my least favorite KSI songs in recent memory for sure. It's a. Uh, it's not a bad song. Yeah. I thought it was cool. I thought it was uh, when I first heard it, I was like, "This is a well-produced song. Like it sounded good." And I like Randolph, so like. Yeah. That was a uh, fun fact about uh, Beerus is I thought that was going to be a diss track back on me, Dax, and Deji and Jallo, because that was the first thing that happened after the unforgivable stuff. Mm. I remember sitting uh, with my mom at my place of work, and like she had came over one during lunch. And we saw the tweet saying, like, coming out in an hour, and it's Beerus, and it showed KSI and Randolph. And it's like, oh, shit, he's responding. It's like, my mom got, like, sick to her stomach. She's like, I don't, I don't want them to say bad things about it. Like, yeah, it was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> my mom was so caring. She still is, and she still protects me from stuff like that. Or well, like, tries to be mom all the time. But KSI I remember that. said we the worst thought, thing he could say already about you. That he hoped I'd die? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's... Yeah, that was wild. <laughs> First time the man ever mentioned me, he said he yeah, I hope he hoped I died. <laughs> Lullaby rapper die. I hope you die, bitch. Uh, words engraved into my memory. Yeah, but God Church to me is like one of the, like the top like. First of all, once I saw the title, I was like, this is genius. Like he took like the word that like stuck out the most in its everyday bro, and that's what he's yeah. using. Yeah. Like, and it's just a dope name. It sounded stupid on It's Every Day, Bro, but he turned it cool. He turned the word <laughs> God Church cool. And then the beat was fire to me. I even did a freestyle <laughs> of it back back. Oh, really? Back then, yeah. It's pretty bar heavy. I would still stand by it. But Nice, he, nice. Uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah. He uh, actually made, like, I think one of the best, or one of my favorite, my, my personal favorite songs done by a YouTuber that doesn't really do music, if that makes sense. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I love I God Church. Yeah, I definitely think God Church is one of his better ones. Cause that's like, that's got the keep it hunted like a high fever, or keep it hunted like a high fever, which isn't, you know, 
a high fever, but it's, it's smart. I like the way he was going with it. <laughs> the video is crazy uh, too. Video's dope. The video's like him dope. on the car and like it's moving and like it's like. Yeah. I don't know. What's it's the song where he said verified because all of the checks that I blew? It's not God Church, but it was around that time. If it's not that one, then it's it's every day or it's every night, sis. It's not that one either. Then it's God. Maybe Church. it is God Church. <laughs> it's got to be God okay, Church. Maybe. So. Okay. Whatever yeah. that song was, I liked it. So if it's the same same song, it's one of my. It's definitely Rice Gum's like one of his best songs. Yeah. And when you compare it to Beerus, which is one of my least favorite, I definitely give that one to Rice Gum. Yeah. So. Same. All right, so technically three two right now. Uh oh, it's getting interesting. Oh uh, uh, yeah. All right, so now we move on into number six. We got uh, KSI's Adam's Apple versus Rice Gum's Bitcoin. I don't know either of them. Uh, Adam's Apple was a net nobody diss track. Uh, very another crazy fucking beat. Anything that has a crazy beat, I'm automatically going to be lean towards it, and that's that's, that's not what that's this is about. Part. I know well, it's it's definitely part of what it's about because that's what makes a song good. I guess, yeah. I guess the beat is all right. The producers are usually losers though, so it's like bar. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, all right. So Adam's apple. Why is it called Adam's apple? Because nobody's name is Adam. <laughs> yeah, but why is it called Adam's apple? Play on words, Joe. If you just I don't understand. <laughs> I, I don't that doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> all right. Uh, um, but all then, right, so this is the I, same type of style as Little Boy. Exact same type of same type of style. I'm pretty sure they both start off the exact same way too, with the same line. KSI's flow, I'm listening to it. It's kinda whatever. Yeah. It's all right. I like Little Boy a lot more, but I still think Adam's apple's dope. Uh, the energy on that song is dope. And then Rice Gums is, uh, whatchamacallit? Um, Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Yeah. I like the name. Starting off good. Yeah, all right. <laughs> that's another one of those things that's hard to compare him because I feel like Bitcoin was halfway gimmicky as well. He sounds pretty good on it. I would, uh, I'm giving that one to Bitcoin. You're giving that to Bitcoin? Yeah. Damn. It sounds like kind of right. Drakey. Like I it mean, sounds like something that I could like ride around. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. See, this is why you have different styles of people in the video, okay? Because Joey is one of these. I'm like a rap, aggressive, hard beat kind of guy that that's the kind of stuff that gets my rocks off. And then Joey's just like a bitch boy <laughs> that likes the melodic <laughs> stuff. And so anybody that follows that path is like, damn. So, all right. So Joey's, you know, these are all Joey's ratings, by the way. So four, four to three. No, it's three to three now. Three, three. Oh, Let's go, geez. Rice Gum. Let's go. Okay. The underdog. <laughs> Somebody sounds a little salty. They didn't win the Papa Chouch. But let's let's move on here. Uh, we got uh, number seven. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Rice Gum's Merry Christmas. I don't even know if that's the name of the song. I know it's a Christmas song. Uh, and it's naughty or nice. Uh, it's naughty or nice. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. So you should have compared Christmas song. Anyways. All right. Does case I have a Christmas song? Yeah, I guess the gift, right? No, that was that was the sideman. He's on it, isn't he? I don't think so. Is he? Yeah. I can't remember if he's on it. I'm he probably is, but like it's whatever. I do think it's it's hard to compare some of these songs, but anyway, number seven was Rice Gum's "Merry Christmas" versus KSI's. He put two songs on this one for some reason. It's "Pull Up" and Two Birds One Stone." He reviewed both of them for whatever reason on this one. So go ahead and give me your thoughts first, because I have a pretty solid answer with this one. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, the rice. You're wrong. The rice. You're gum, fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the rice gum song is called Naughty or Nice, and uh, uh, why do I keep saying it's Merry Christmas? You've corrected me like three times. Yeah, I corrected you, telling you it was Naughty or Nice, like every time, yeah, and yeah. you just I don't know. Sorry. Stuck in your ways. I apologize. The I like that song, yeah, like for like a a. Uh, Christmas hip hop song from Rice Gum, like <laughs> that's what it should be. So I mean, yeah, I mean the second I heard that, I knew you would like it because it, it's got the A flow. Da 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 da. Is you not a you not a da 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 da. Like that's dope to me. That's dope. Yeah, because every rapper ever does it. It's literally in every song. Because it works. I mean, I guess it's 
Yeah, I mean, it does work. <laughs> You're fucking right. You're a fucking whorebag bitch. Damn, that's how you know uh, him, right? It, when Crip, like... Says the most vulgar, horrible. <laughs> no, things you're not. To me. Like you're the you only thing you're right about is that it does work, and that a lot of people do it, and that you like it. So you know this is uh, that's that's the beauty of opinions. Yours is wrong. Um, but pull up <clears throat> by KSI, not wrong. KSI pull up is like it's a uh, yeah. The, how can you compare these two songs? It's hard to compare them, but here's the thing: is like pull up is a good song. I feel like from KSI. That's probably one of my favorite music videos he's ever done. Ever done aside, you know, that's besides the point. But I looking more at Two Birds One Stone because that is one of, like, I feel like one of uh, KSI's better songs ever. Just like hmm. rap songs. Hmm. Like, but it's obviously it's gonna be one of those things that I like because it's more of a rap, hard rap song, and Naughty or Nice is a melodic A song. Bro, it's melodic. It's happy, and then pull up is dark and gloomy and it's like yeah. how the hell do you compare Get your dick these hard, songs? doesn't it? Yeah. What would I rather listen to? Naughty or Nice. Okay, that's dope. I would hands down rather listen to Pull Up or Two Birds with One I'd rather listen to Pull Up over Two Birds with One Stone because I like Pull Up's hook. Two Birds, One Stone is like a diss track. Um, the, I don't like the hook on it that much. But, I don't know. That's, that's another one. I mean, Joey's Super fucking stupid. So, what do you give that? You give that to Rice Gum? Uh, did you give Bitcoin to Rice Gum too over Adam's Apple? Yeah. You did. What the hell is wrong with you? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, <man>. Joey's. <laughs> um, so, right now, you've only given KSI two songs. What? No. That's not true. Uh, did, what if you not give it? Yeah. You gave Houdini and Poppin over my ex and the adult. Fortnite and Chill, you gave him that over down like that. You gave him the Gabby Hanna disc. You gave <laughs> him Gun Church. So you gave him Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, you gave him Bitcoin and you gave him Naughty or Nice. So you, you've given him five in a row. Uh. Hey, man. Is that right? Did you give him that? That does. Uh, the Gabby Hanna? No, 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 yeah, no, no. Over what? It was definitely 3-3, three, three, but I don't remember what you gave him. Gabby Hanna was against what? Over Little Boy. I, I took Little Boy for that one. You did take Little Boy. Okay, yeah. because that's the logical decision. <laughs> so, okay. So, it's uh, you got KSI, got Houdini, Poppin, and Little Boy. So, right now, it's four to three rice gum, according to you. Uh, yeah. All right. But Pull Up is a good song. Like, It is a dope song. But it's, oh, man, it's just not the type of... Man, and like KSI and I were like, that was fresh off of Unforgivable, bro. They dropped their collab album in like January, I think, and our or maybe it was February, and our diss on KSI was in November or December. Yeah. So every song that he was putting out, you thought was gonna be against you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, maybe he it's gonna be this one. He had a picture of Dax oh, no. on as a newspaper clipping on in that music video. Oh, he does. Okay. Well, that yeah. still lasts. So it was like fresh. He doesn't like him. <laughs> yeah, he probably would still true. do it. But, but uh, okay, so right now you, have for whatever reason, have it. Rice gum winning four to three. We'll move on into number eight. Is the Jacob Sartorius diss versus Wake Up Call? Now this and is a tough you one. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Straight up. If we're gonna talk about to actual to bars, one. bro. <laughs> shut no, up, <laughs> dude. Just shut the fuck up. If we're talking about actual bars. Then the last song, "Pull Up" and Two Birds One Stone," wipes the floor with "Naughty or Nice." Wait, if I'm not mistaken, if we talk you about only bars, like if if we're talking about no, if, we're talking about just songs and general, yeah, I know, like I know, music, I know, I know. But I'm saying, like, that's the only way that the diss track that Rice Gum did could possibly win this. Jesus. But okay. uh, Wake Up Call so is like fire. I love Jesus. Wake Up Call. I love Wake Up Call. Okay. Like, that hook is crazy. Yeah, like, that song is that song is dope. All right. So, now it is tied 4-4 four to four with two songs dun, dun, dun. left. This is getting good. I feel like Joey's intentionally doing this to be an asshole. Because, <laughs> like, if you, like, look at the list in general, like, to me, there's no question. It's, like, an obvious... Eight to two, maybe seven three, but Joey's got it tied up for whatever reason now. But when you like uh, look okay. at it from my standpoint, when I say like why, the incorrect does that kind of make yeah. sense? Yeah, I mean, because you're devil's advocate with everything, literally everything. You could t- take the most beautiful thing in the world and be like, but 
such and such and just find the one shitty thing with it. It's like, well, fuck. What a great personality Now my trait. whole viewpoint is spoiled on this <laughs> one once beautiful thing that was perfect because of Joey fucking Notto. Anyway, number nine, we got Rice Gum's Frick the Police, mm. which was uh, the IDubs diss track. And then you got KSI's On Point, Woo! which was the Logan Paul diss track. And Joey and I were talking off camera about this one. Just for a second. I feel like just this is, uh, yeah, just for a second because my camera died and I had to let it charge and cool down. Um, I feel like this is the best comparable songs because they're both diss tracks, they're both similar vibes. Uh, so this is this is the songs to compare. Yeah, this is a fair comparison. Okay, oh, and just boy. to give you a premise, KSI gave Rice Gum this song out of pity. He said he needed to give him pity points. So, you, you give me your opinions first on this one. Oh, man. <laughs> so, Rice Gum's Frick the Police, uh, you know, when the song first came out, both when both songs, when both of these songs came out, they both got me hyped up. Um, yeah. Rice Gums, like I just listened to it for a second just now, and it got me like immediately hyped. Like that's the Rice Gum vibe. That's the God Church type vibe. Um, I wish Frick the Police did it even better than it did. I think it's a little underrated in the Rice Gum, the short, limited Rice Gum catalog. Uh, the reason behind that is because of the disses, like the actual intent of everything. Like some of the disses in there were just inaccurate. Gotcha. I, I remember the height of that as well. Like some of the points that Idubs was making about him, like he constantly flexing about being in a mansion and like it's one of his negative attributes. And Ricegum like just made several bars about that, and like people just hated. And like Ricegum made a video, like responding to the Idubs content cop saying like he doesn't ever rap about that or he like he's only done it once or twice. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was like I remember there being a lot of hypocrisy during that and that's why it has so many dislikes and why it didn't do as well because I think his energy on that song is fucking nuts yeah it is by far his best energy I think he sounds great on the song yep. sounds clear up there's there. a couple couple points where his flow gets off but like that's that's a typical rice gum style exactly. I feel like I don't mind that at all yeah uh, and see that's where I don't like just but personal preference but like his energy is nuts on that song but if we're going to energy, I mean, we you passed up on a KSI song that had crazy energy over a melodic song from Rice Gum. So I feel like you just like Rice Gum. I do like Rice Gum. I, I like his music. I do like Rice I, Gum. I don't think I'd <laughs> want to be friends with Rice Gum. I don't yeah. think he doesn't come across as a very morally correct person. <laughs> but that's not what this is about. This is about the song that you would listen to on the way to get a Baconator. And you know what? For me, on point is... Oh man, it's, uh, KSI has such good videos and puts so much into yeah. his videos and stuff that it like it messes with my brain. Like, what if I only listen? <laughs> There's to so this many audio? underlying factors to all of these because like I know so much about these situations that led up to these songs and what these songs are about, and I feel like that skews my views and my opinions on a lot of these songs because I know about some of the inaccuracies and like some of the things that shouldn't have been said. Yeah, because that's. That's one of the only reasons I didn't like Frick the Police is because I remember how much hypocrisy happened in that song. But, like, I know his energy's dope on it, and it's one of his best performances. That's And then on point, mm-hmm. that music video is fucking nuts, and it just added so much to the song itself. Yeah, it, so it definitely added a lot it's to a the song. One. But the, the only thing I remember about on point is the uh, the hook. Everything is on point. Like, when the beat first dropped of that song, I was like, ooh, okay. Because I mm-hmm. think he landed... Like Dragon Ball Z style, like on the ground as soon as the beat drop, and then it just like mm-hmm. I, just, I still remember watching it the first time, and then it was just uh, cops are looking Gucci, da 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 till it suits me. Everything, oh man, this yeah, is a really a tough one, look. yo. This is a tough one, but yeah. I think if I'm on the way to get a Baconator at Wendy's, which is approximately four minute drive from where I live. <laughs> I think the song that I would play is Frick the Police. Okay. I mean, it depends on what energy you're looking for. Because I agree it's the better song to like ride around if you're wanting to get hype. 
to get a fucking Baconator. But here's the thing. Because the beat is, the beat's dope on that. Yes. And, like, his energy, you know. Here's the thing. This is a little bit unfair, though, with these Rice Gum songs for me. Because Meek Mill is my favorite rapper. Yeah. So, and a lot of these songs have that Meek Mill type beats. Ah, kind of, sort of. So, it's like, you. it appeals to me, like, right away. Um, yeah. So, the thing is, like, On Point has given me the stank face. And like, I don't give out the stank face mm. a lot. And I remember On Point giving me the stank face the first time that hook dropped in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, like, it still does. Like, it just, like, mm, like... I don't know. It's I'm, I don't know. I'm a personally attached to that song, but I agree. Frick the Police is one of Rice Gum's, also one of Rice Gum's better songs. I feel like if that was compared to some of the earlier KS songs, KSI songs on this list, I would give it to it. Mm-hmm. I just can't bring myself to give Frick the Police over on point, just out of out of personal preference. There you go. All right. But Joey's got Rice Gun winning five to four. So the only thing KSI could do is tie on my list. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Joey has Rice Gun five four. I have KSI completely obliterating Rice Gun, but that's besides the point. What's your Rice score? Rice Gun's every night what's, says. What's your uh, score? Mine is. I think I have mine like eight to one right now. I might. You know, I was the last one's hitter. It can go either way for me. It depends on the day. So I would give it eight to two right now, or six, seven to two. KSI right now. Okay. So you basically had the same score as KSI. Relatively. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Here it is. This one's for all the marbles. For all the marbles, we got Every Night Sis versus Lamborghini. Mm. So. Mm. For me personally, because you're the deciding factor apparently here. Uh, I personally, like I was saying earlier in this, Every Night Sis is Rice Gum's best song, no doubt, in my brain. Wow. And I've actually bumped that a few times, you know, a, a, along the years. And I would give that over Lamborghini. Even though Lamborghini's a hype as shit song and it's KSI's most viewed video, I, I would give Every Night Sis over Lamborghini, just personal preference. All right. <laughs> People so, will probably think, like, hands down, I would go for It's Every Night, Sis. I just listened mm-hmm. to it again in my headphones for a minute, and um, I don't really like it that much, to be honest. There's nothing really memorable yeah. about that song to me. There's no hook on that song, right? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think there is, and it's just... I don't know. Like, I'm glad there isn't, because I feel like if he tried to do a flip on Jake Paul's hook of Everyday Bro, it would have been cheesy. So I'm glad there's not a hook on that. Yeah. Wait, no, there is. There is a hook on that. Oh, there is? Alyssa does it. Yeah, Alyssa does it. She does? Yeah. <laughs> How does it go? It's Everyday Bro with the same Disney flow. You bullying your kids, now you bullying your bro. Is it like a end of song type hook? Like she just Maybe. plugs it at the end or something? I remember it being there. I think the only thing I remember about that song is the State Farm line that Alyssa <laughs> Violet said. Yeah. Um, Ron Paul, yes, yeah, Jake, like from State Farm. Lamborghini. <laughs> like there, I have a gripe with yeah, Lamborghini. Lamborghini. No, Lamborghini. I have a gripe with that song because of, course you do. of that par- that exact part of the hook. It's just the most like cliche, repetitive style of hooks yeah. that was hot, like, pff, I don't know, early 2000s or Man, something. Your hypocrisy is amazing throughout this whole thing. Oh, wait, why? The things you why? Like about, the things you like about Rice Gum, you don't like about KSI. Like the repetitive hook, like the, the hook that worked at the time being, just like Rice Gum's hook in... Yeah, uh, but it didn't what, have what a flow it? that I nice? liked, or it didn't have like a melody that I liked. Okay. But it is hype. And it's got a lot of energy. I like Lamborghinis. <laughs> well, that's good. Even though the only time I ever drove one, I was even afraid to put my foot on the pedal, so I just let it roll around the valet <laughs> parking lot until I got to the parking space. That's funny. Uh, For all the marbles, Joe. Man. <laughs> 
Now I want you to sit here and think about this question, okay? It's every night. This answer sis versus this answer determines this, okay? This isn't just is every night sis better than Lamborghini. This is this determines if rice gum is better than KSI. Just sit and think <laughs> about that fucking question. I didn't question. say all that. Okay, no, but, that's what's gonna happen. Uh, like if you if you say the wrong thing here. Man, I think I got it. The end result is going to be fucking disastrous, okay? <laughs> it's already disastrous. <laughs> and probably the minds of other people out there, but hey, I, I know what I like. I know what makes me get hyped. And uh, I mean, honestly, I just don't like It's Every Night, Sis. I don't. I remember okay. first hearing the song, and I was disappointed by it. I didn't think there was anything special about it. I don't think it holds a candle to God Church. <laughs> I think uh, mm. I think Lamborghini's the one. Got to go with Lamborghini. Okay, so now it's five to five according to Joey, and it's seven to three according to me. So, yeah. yeah. And that's why I'm excited to see if like more tracks are gonna roll out with them going at each other. You know. Yeah, just I mean, the I've tracks, been preaching you know I mean? for the last few bits to stop doing diss tracks and don't do diss tracks. I want a diss track so fucking bad between these two. Because at this point, like, they're both just so big that it's yeah. not going to do anything. It's just going to create content for everybody. Yeah. And I think it would be dope. Like, when it's people my size and your size, like, it can really affect somebody in a negative way. But when and when it's them, fucking do it, bro. You both have already done everything that you can da- do pretty much on this platform. You're just innovating new ways to do shit. Just fucking diss each other. Go for it. <laughs> Facts. I mean, you're, you're in different countries. That no one's going to get hurt or anything. Like, just... Yeah. Just make this song. It's like, oh man, I hope it happens. But it would K- be dope. It would be really fucking dope. KSI is way more relevant right now, so I'm like, yeah, kind of surprised that he brought so much light to this. But um, yeah, it's gonna be strange because, I mean, I know Rice Gum used to have some really fucking good one liners. Yeah, and like KSI, like he's he's had some good one liners, but he and he's had good diss tracks, but like I don't think his punchlines. Compared to what Rice Gum used to have, or should I say, Disc God used to have? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, who so knows? It'll be interesting. That, I but... want it to happen. Yeah, I do too. It'll be uh, nope. some good competition, and it'll be fair now because the ground, the playing field is leveled. You know what you I think mean? It's leveled. Or, or like these like are KSI two songs like... that we could compare if they both do oh, songs at each other. Mean. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. So I think the comparisons will be fair. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Here's, here's my prediction, and then we can close out the podcast. I feel like Rice Gum is going to drop a diss track the day KSI's album comes out. Ooh. I, I feel like there's going to be a super, hmm. super pettiness to it. That would be, like, really smart of Rice Gum to do that. Yeah. But uh, that's a long time to wait and this whole thing might go stale if there's a way that they could drag it out or he could drag it out or somebody can make the right chess moves to drag it out the relevancy of this for that long because things on youtube get old very quick yeah, they, for example who yeah. the hell listens to the papa do podcast you know what i mean nobody so, ah. exactly no. <laughs> we appreciate all you guys listening and we're just joking yeah for real we do but um, i got denied a sponsorship today and the sponsorship literally like they came to me about my main channel and I wasn't comfortable with the sponsorship, but I was like, hey, we got this second channel. And they like, the exact words was, that channel gets no views. <laughs> like, the exact words. Like, not even fucking with you. Wow. Like, God dang. All right. That's no cool. views, huh? Gets no views. Who is it? So, oh, I guess you could tell me off. I, yeah, I'll tell you off camera. It's somebody I wasn't comfortable with uh, sharing my subscribers, the, the product. Gotcha. So we don't like them? Uh, no, it's not that we don't like them. It's just they were super real. <laughs> like, they like, didn't give a fuck. Huh. They're just super blunt, I, which I can appreciate. But uh, anyway, that's gonna that's that's the end of that. So <laughs> Joey has uh, a tie between Rice Gum and KSI. Oh, I have man. KSI winning seven to three. We both would love to see some diss tracks float around. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments of Spotify. And uh, <laughs> yeah, Joey, you got any closing words, my man? Uh, the only thing I want to say is I can't wait to see the comment section on this video. <laughs> I, I'm not going to look. 
But uh, <laughs> that's going to be the end of this podcast, guys. And until next time, go ahead, grab a do, pop that motherfucker, and pop a do. Pop a do!